Hello there and welcome to Black Jackal Gaming. We're going to have a quick look at apothecaries, what units they can join, the buffs they give to those units, and talk a little bit about the, the missing options as there's only two variants available. So the first version is the Primaris Apothecary. They can join Assault Intercessors, Desolation Marines, Hellblasters, Infernus, Intercessors and Stern Guard Veterans. Unlike previous characters, they do not share the first ability. The ability for both these units are different. For the Primaris Apothecary, their first ability is North Isium. When leading a unit in the command phase, you can return one destroyed model, excluding character models, to that unit. Their second ability is Gene Seed Recovery. When the unit they're attached to is being destroyed on a roll of a D6, on a 2 plus you gain one additional CP. You're probably going to want to have this guy on the more expensive units, such as the Desolation, Hellblaster, Infernus, and Stern Guard Veteran Squad. Uh, especially if you're not having another character to team up with those. Um, being able to bring back an Intercessor isn't really an efficient use of that ability. And the second ability, Gene Seed Recovery, well, a CP is quite handy, but you have lost a, an entire unit. Um, some of the, the stratagems are quite good for Space Marines, so this might come in handy. But then again, you'd rather have a unit that's just pumping out more, more firepower and efficiency then gain an individual CP the one time it's destroyed. Next up, we have the Apothecary Biologus. This guy is in Gravis armor, so he can only join Gravis units, so he can join the Aggressor, Eradicator, and Heavy Intercessor squad. His first ability is Surgical Precision, given all weapons within the unit the lethal hits keyword. This makes critical hits of a six, auto wound the target. So, you might not want to have this on the aggressives as they're going to bypass the hit stage um, so you might be more use on eradicators or intercessors however if you're going to try and run the aggressors more as melee orientated the lethal hits might come in handy his second ability is a vivis spectrum when the unit guarding this model is destroyed it, as a result of melee and to the end of the battle this model then has objective control nine instead of three it's quite a handy little ability, especially if you've been charged and you're holding this objective. Uh, then when it hits your, your turn next, you might still be in control of the objective. So you're picking up potentially a primary and secondary points. It's only really going to come into play once a game at most. Um, because after this, he's probably going to die. And a lot of time, you're just not going to be in a position where this is actually going to be that meaningful. Last up, and more of an honorary mention, is the Firstborn Apothecary. Now, he can only join the command squad and cannot be taken as a, an individual model. So it's a little bit on the strange side. So because he's not counting as uh, joining the squad and he's just part of the squad, he only gets one ability. That ability is Narthesium, which we've already seen. So when he's within this unit, he can bring one destroyed model back in your command phase this cannot be a character model since the majority of the models in this unit are characters the only ones you're really going to be able to bring back are the company veterans now we just come with a bit of a weird uh, war gear choice he comes with a chainsaw and a bolt pistol which is a bit on the odd side and you can swap out his bolt pistol for a combi um, weapon which is even stranger uh, it comes across as a real second thought and he's just been thrown in there because people still have the model so you might as well put him somewhere. And he's always been able to join the command squad uh, in the past. I kind of think this is a little bit of just an afterthought where he's been copied over from somewhere and they've not thought about it elsewhere. But hey ho, there he is. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments, then pop them below in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit the like button as it greatly helps the channel. Hit the subscribe button to see any future Warhammer content. Take it easy and see you next time for more grim darkness from the 41st millennium.